Jim, um, commiserations. How do you assess today? I'm devastated. I'm devastated first and foremost. Um, I feel um, so sorry for the fans. I realise um, the history of our football club, 100 years in the Football League, um, and to, to go out um, of that Football League now, um, after enjoying a long, horrible season really, um, and, and not a great few years to be honest as a football club, um, I'm devastated, I'm devastated this club. I don't know what I've been here now, eight years, nine years, I think. Mainly, mainly as a player, almost. I mean, I was I was a player up until six weeks ago, or eight weeks ago, whatever it's been. Six weeks, I think. And I'm truly devastated. Uh, my family will be devastated. Uh, I know the fans will be devastated. I've got, I've got family at home, two young girls who, who are massive Rochdale fans who are absolutely devastated. Um, I know I'll have, I'll have tears to deal with in, in that regard. And, I'm really hurting. I'm really hurting. Um, I, I, I totally understand the fans' frustration, anger, upset tonight. I really do, and I'm I'm really feeling that with them. What was sort of said at the end over there? It does seem to be a lot of your fans said and applauded the team. Um, it's been difficult in recent weeks. The atmosphere, as you spoke about on Tuesday night. What what was sort of said and what was it like at the end there? There was some anger, but it, it was acceptable anger, it was, it's normal. Um, I thought the fans were amazing today, the way they cheered us through the majority of the game. In what was a game where we showed very little. I was um, being totally truthful with you, I was fuming at half-time. I was devastated and I was fuming. Because the way we were going out, with that sort of account of ourselves, it wasn't acceptable. I was fuming about that and I let the players know that at half-time. That if we're going to go out like that, we may as well pack up now. Um, from 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 a confidence sort of courage perspective, it, it was it wasn't there. It wasn't there at all. And I think that has slipped in in um, from the last game. And I was hoping we would bounce back from that and, and recognise the magnitude of the day. I think there was a rally then in the second half. Um, even with that, that was only a rally of confidence where they showed a little bit more with the ball and they showed a little bit more of like what themselves can be. But even then, we didn't threaten Stockport today. We didn't hurt them. They, they coped with us. They coped with us quite comfortably. Um, and we've gone down. We've gone down to where where we kind of been heading for a long time, and we have to accept our part as players. We, we have to accept our responsibility. In it. We have to be accountable. Um, and the football club as a whole has to be accountable for this relegation. Um, our performances on the pitch and our decisions as a football club um, in the last few years. It's not, I've always thought, it's not only players that get clubs promoted, it's not only players that get clubs relegated. They play a massive part, but lots of people play their part too. Um, and we've we we've clearly done too many things wrong over 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 a period of time, which has led to us now exiting the football league. And I'm devastated about it. The, the, the fans, the fans' anger at the end there is totally understandable. But in the in, in the main today, they came here to try and cheer us on, like, and they did that. And I was I was I was really I was really proud and pleased with them the way they tried to do that in what was a really difficult day. Obviously, there's a lot of anger and a lot of things are said. One of the things that has been said is, is you know, the players' attitude and application throughout this season. Um, do, do the do the majority of the players care? 100 percent they do. Yeah, 100 percent they care. Um, have we been good enough? Have we been good enough? And um, I re-emphasise that I've been a player here too until six weeks ago. Have we been good enough as players? No, nowhere near it. Um, we've been poor. Um, I think. They tried, they tried everything for me, they really did, and I was really pleased up until today that the points return that we've had. Um, in my short period, I, I, can, I, can, I can hand on heart say they've, they've given their all for me, um, even down to things like uh, the amount they've ran in the five games that I've had, have been right up there with our, with our best um, games throughout the, the, the 40, the 41, the 42, to that point, the 40, whatever it is. 
Um, even those sort of metrics are right up. And I know they gave me everything, but ultimately, we, we probably just never had enough. We just never had enough, and we haven't been good enough. All of us as a football club, we haven't been good enough, and that, that's, that's culminated in this relegation. Clearly, now that the task against your national league is is a you know it's a, it's a different beast, isn't it? it? And a lot of people have, have spoke about how difficult it can be in that league. Where do you feel the club needs to go now? What what's got to change? First and foremost, yeah, it's a whole different animal. Um, I think the average position that a club finishes the year after going down to the conference is 12th or 13th. Um, we've all seen what's happened to. Uh, Scunthorpes and Oldham's have really struggled. Big clubs have gone down there, and big clubs stay a long time down there. Stockport County were 11 years down there, I think. Um, and there's, 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 there's some giant clubs down there now that look like they're going to get out with your Wrexhams and your Notts Counties, but that's a whole different animal. And the club's got a whole new set of planning to commit to now to get ready for for that period of the, of the club's existence now. Um, I know the club have revealed um, to you guys some of the some of the plans moving forward in terms of they've they've been objectively assessed by an outside company that the club have employed to try and see what's been going on at our football club and see what can get better. Um, the club have shared with me that they want to go to a high possession, high tempo style of football. They want a coach that can help employ that. Um, we we want to try to attract Category 1 academy players because um, that's probably going to be a model that we need to use um, but I know full well that you won't get Category 1 academy players um, by kicking the ball forward like direct over and over again you won't sell players like Ethan Brearley by pumping the ball long you just won't do it and if we don't sell players like Ethan Brearley if we don't attract Category 1 Academy players from your Man United, Man City's, Everton, Liverpool's, we're blessed that we live in, in this region where there's so many top Premier League clubs where we need to attract their players and we do need to attract their players moving forward now because we don't attract the fan bases like 10,000 here today. We don't, we don't have that. We don't have that. So without huge backing from someone, from an, from an individual, um, the club, I know, are, are planning to move towards that kind of model where we, we, we try and play high possession attractive football and, and try and get those players in um, but it's really really difficult it's really, really difficult do, do, you believe in, uh, do you believe in the plans and do you want to be a part of that I want to be part of it yeah I want to be part of it I've always wanted to be part of this club that's why I've stayed um, over the years that I have when I've had options to leave um, to you know much more lucrative clubs than Rochdale but I always had a great relationship here with, with the the managers that have been here um, I've been here during the club's most successful periods in League One with the club's most successful managers I was here in those teams I know what those teams are full of I know what those teams need to be again I know what we were as a football club and our identity when we were in those periods um, I know, I know, I know the things that were required in those moments. I know what you need in a changing room, and I know, you know, what made us successful in those moments with 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 our fans as well. What what connected with them, I, you know, I know that. Um, so, the clubs obviously now got huge planning to do moving forward, um, and I don't know what that means for all of us. I truly don't. Um, it's uncharted territory for any of us, um, but. Yeah, one hundred percent. I want to be part of it. I've, I've enjoyed my my period in charge, and you know, I've been really happy with the return that the players have given me up until today. Just finally, clearly, you, you want to be a part of it. Assessing it from where you are now, what are the main things that need to change at the club? I don't know if I can answer that without um, without letting the club say their part first. Um, clearly, we're not good enough. Clearly. Clearly we've not been good enough, clearly we don't have enough quality, that's clear. Um, we haven't scored enough goals this season and we've let too many in, we've been relegated. So I think that's quite apparent. Um, we've lacked quality for long periods. Uh, I don't think effort and endeavour whatsoever have been short, just just quality and design, if I'm being honest. Um, but what the club needs moving forward, I, I think it, um, the club are probably going to 
want to, you know, devise their thoughts on that and see what model they want to want to move forward with as a football club. Um, and they'd probably be better equipped to answer that question than I would. Thanks for your time, Jim. No worries. Thanks, Thank Jim. You. Cheers, guys. Jim, um, you talk there about sort of changes that will have to happen and there will be changes. Are there difficult conversations to be had with, with, with players going forward now? And are you part of those conversations or what sort of happens on that front from here? Part of those questions in what way, sorry? Well, in terms of you're going down a division, there'll be players, you would assume, who won't be here next season mm-hmm. and those are difficult conversations for any manager to have mm. um, do, you, do you know if you'll be playing a part in those conversations and do you know sort of well, how difficult those conversations are going to be truthfully I actually don't know if mm. I'm playing a part in those conversations I don't know yeah. um, you know what my role is beyond this uh, I'd be very proud I've been very proud in this period to be you know the manager of Rochelle Football Club and the players have tried their best and and, and gave me a real good point return in that period um, far better than what we've had um, in terms of a five game average for two years now but it's been too late that's been too late um, whether the club want to continue with that um, is, is the club's decision um, but I actually don't know now moving forward how that looks in terms of um, is the, will the football club sit down with the players and make those decisions Will the football club sit down with me and make those decisions? I, I actually, I actually don't know. Um, I've been fully, fully focused all the way through on the next game. The next game's always been just around the corner, and it's been too important to have any other conversations about anything else. So, I actually, I actually don't know how those conversations look moving forward. Are there sort of are there positives you can take over the out of the, the past few weeks from what you've seen of the players? Are there things that you can sort of look at moving forward and say, well, this, there are things we can build on that. There's definite positives, yes. There's definite positives in, in this short period, um, without question. It's just we need to um, evolve the group now. Clear the group will evolve. Definitely, we need to evolve the group to suit the model, um, the model of what the club want to do, the model of what I've been trying to do, the model of what the club has said it needs to be to survive moving forward. We need we need to evolve the group to suit the model. Um, it was. It was. Um, I don't think I was ever put in place to to keep us up. I think that ship had sailed in most people's eyes. Um, we were supposed to just try and show a decent account of ourselves in, in that short period and, and try and do our best for that, which we'll continue to do.